In two weeks, we'll begin our cruise. We plan to sail for 15 days, for a few hundred, maybe close to 300 miles. It will all depend on the weather conditions. And then, after all that, we'll go back to our everyday lives as ordinary mortals. It's already late in the season, so we have the boat out of the water. That's the boat behind me. Here in the shipyard, we cleaned the boat thoroughly and renewed the anti-fouling. In this way, our boat will be faster, especially in light wind, and it will also consume less fuel when running under motor because it'll glide better through the water. The result will be faster speed and less fuel consumption. We've inspected all seawater intakes. Very often you find barnacles in there. We checked the rudders for play, and we carefully examined the propeller to make sure the blades are firmly attached to the hub. We checked if the anode was changed, because that's a frequent source of problems. When anchoring in bays, you never know what is beneath you. And also in harbors, there sometimes are wrecks that create galvanic currents which can erode the metal of the hull if it's not isolated rather well. So the anode is extremely important and you absolutely have to clean it several times a season. We even replaced it, like we usually do, two or three times a year. We put the boat back into the water for the final checks. We start at the bow, checking the position lights. Of course, they need to be firmly attached without play because there's the risk that they blow due to vibrations caused by the waves and the rolling of the ship. We check if the pulpit is well fastened to the deck. This is very important because anyone leaning on the pulpit must not fall overboard, so it needs to be attached well. A quick check of the railing especially the connection points of the steel wiring. Going further back, we check sliders and track for the Genoa in order to have them slide as freely as possible. Then the winch, the cheek blocks, the stern pulpits, the stern position light, and everything else that is important on deck. Everything that is needed on deck has to be there and has to work perfectly so you don't have to look at it, or worse, still, repair it while at sea, especially in rough conditions and strong winds.